right, okay? So as wiener scandals rise from the dead like the turgid zombies from a horror flick, all we can do is stand and stare, not with shock, but with exhaustion. Really, we're just tired. Seriously, can the average American just go about his business without seeing a politician's business? <laughs> and worse, do we really have to witness the theater of therapy played out for all of us to see? If I want a romantic soap opera with perversion and intrigue, I'll watch Fox and Friends. But it's not about women. It's about men and how little we expect from them these days. I mean, if Anthony Weiner can spend his life avoiding real work, intent only in campaigning for jobs that we pay for, all the while trolling for pathetic self-gratification, why should we even bother if we no longer hold the high-status male to such high standards? Even before they're elected, what's the point of having standards for ourselves? Clearly, if we are okay as men with Weiner, then it's because we assume we're just like him. Are we? Think about the average dude married with two kids, working his butt off all to support his family. For him, it's never about power. It's about principle. Now compare that to the high living low life that is Wiener. He's going to live on a government salary in a mansion while cultivating a status that allows his fetishes to flourish. This entire escapade is about accumulating power because he has no other talents. So this isn't just about Wiener's treatment of women or women expecting more from men. It's also about men who need to grow up. In general, if men started acting like men again, then boys like Wiener wouldn't stand a chance.